Prime Minister Tom Tabani avoided being charged with the murder of his second wife, Dipolelo, when he failed to show up in court on Friday. Two weeks ago, his third wife, Maisia, was charged with ordering the shooting of a predecessor, as well as the attempted murder of another woman wounded in the attack in 2017. The Prime Minister's no-show in court and the scandal surrounding the murder is a hot topic in the capital, Maseru. The Bahali Giants Theatre Group performs at a taxi rank, bringing to life the controversy within Lesotho's political elite. Are you really saying to me as a Prime Minister, you expect me to go to court? From the crowd, an overwhelming yes. This is a chance for people captivated by the intrigue to have their say. One spectator shouts that no one is above the law and that Tabani is wanted by the police. Another blames the Prime Minister for dividing the country and demands he goes to court. This man accuses Tabani of being a thief. Moments of humour in the crisis here. Much like the political leadership in Lesotho, people's opinion here is divided. Despite his denial, some think the Prime Minister's on the run. He says he's in South Africa for a medical checkup. Either way, his disappearance from court is seen by many as being convenient. As they conclude their performance, the actors sing, mimicking the Prime Minister and his wife from a video she posted on social media last year, where they appeared in bathrobes, singing a well-known song about seeking power. It was met with shock and criticism, and fueled speculation that the 80-year-old Tabani's third wife is influencing politics. In Mokhwakhoeng, where Tabani is from, the Prime Minister retains some support. On my side, I want to give him a chance to leave this country and drop these murder charges. Yeah. Tabani is under pressure from within his own party to resign. He says he'll retire in July. For now, the intrigue about his whereabouts and his evasion of justice goes on. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Maseru Lesotho.